He went out and got a GoPro now too, so now he's serious. He's yeah, been making I, 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 oh. I have to wash my truck, bro, because my truck is uh, it's dirty. Now I got it? you. I got you something for your truck. Oh, you do? I was I was going to surprise you and get it on video and everything, but for the guys here. All right, if I can get ten people to say, show us what I got him for his truck. Y'all go see his oh, live reaction. What you got? What you got? I got him a gag gift, guys, for his truck. So if I can get ten people to say, let us see it or show it, I will show y'all what I got his gag gift. Yeah, let me comment to let us see it. <laughs> I told you no more. That's your gift. Oh man, what it is? Oh, it's a big box, sir. Everybody okay. saying, "All right, y'all, y'all, show us. Come on." <laughs> I got him a gift, guys. What did you get? Is it paper long? <laughs> Looks like paper. <laughs> paper long. Is it a golden girl window sticker? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Are y'all ready? Wells, maybe. I got plenty of those. Only the mobile wells. Oh my god! All right. So, the what did what did we decide that the name of your truck is going to be? Well, it won't be Betty White, but uh, huh? It wasn't be Betty White. No. <laughs> 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 Yo. Where am I going to put that? This is going to go in your window on your truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sheesh. Yeah, man. I'm rock that, I'll rock that sticker. It's a sticker? Yeah, it's a window decal. Oh, yeah. I got to put it on for sure now. People can recognize me for sure. I had no <laughs> idea about it. I swear. Yeah, yo. Man, me neither. I didn't even know that was going to be. You killed me here, but I'll wear it. I'll, I'll rock it. Yeah. Damn. I was, was going to give it to you this past weekend, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't come in the mail in time. Betty White, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, y'all, yeah. I'll put it on the window. I'll put it on the window. On the, I think I'm putting it on the back window. Hey, I'm going I'm to make a video about it when I put it on. There you go. I'm going to make a video yeah, about guys. it. Yeah, guys. So, y'all Brad, tune into his channel. On, you were in on it, too, with Shimon, man. You knew what it was. <laughs> Betty White. <laughs> Damn it, boy. <laughs> <Take game over. laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta rock that Just sure. No, <laughs> you could have gotten a younger picture of her. <laughs> nah, he couldn't. Need to reverse it and put it on your passenger side window. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she's like a passenger. She be my passenger. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. No way. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I was like, yo, we named this truck. Well, I named well. Technically, you named your truck Betty White. And then when I co-signed it, you want to change the name. So forever in my soul, it's going to be Betty White. Betty White. He can recognize that truck now for sure. Yeah. Damn. So you're going to have Betty White as your passenger. That's Actually, fine. now you, you probably don't you probably don't want to put her on your uh, your back window. Uh, yeah, I will tell you one thing. I'm not going to put on the window in the passenger front because I will freak myself out. <laughs> I'm, I'm driving right in the middle of the night in the in the country so country road, and I turn and I see a face. Uh huh. No man. Uh -uh. Yeah, but you can't put it on your sleeper window because it'll seem like you have a like Betty White is your concubine in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you did, I know you yeah. did. Yo, man, <laughs> you <laughs> your wife's gonna be like, "What does she have that I don't?" <laughs> yeah. Damn. Ooh, man. Damn. But yeah, so when I see you next weekend, sir. Good morning, YouTube. We are leaving the house. I need to close that door. We're leaving the house. We have to go down to Laredo, Texas to go drop off that load we picked up on Friday. There we go. So we're gonna go do that now. So I'm gonna go drop it, I'm gonna go pick up my trailer from the yard. Y'all saw me drop it the other day. Uh, truck's all washed up. I did go through and 
clean up the inside of the truck. Um, this past weekend, I cleaned the outside and the inside. Uh, here, I'll, I'll show you. Not too bad. It's not, not a blue beacon, but just took my pressure washer and gave her a good wash. Not too bad. Went through and did a blowout on the radiator, cleaned that up. Yeah. I need to get up there at the top a little bit better, but that was difficult to do. So yeah, there she sits. But guys, a little birdie told me, actually, let's get in a truck and then I'll tell you guys. So, 18 wheels. Y'all have seen 18 wheels on the channel, right? Y'all saw me do my uh, YouTube live with him the other day. So, um, we were just talking yesterday and he was telling me about a place he's gonna be at um, this morning for a pickup or delivery or something. And it just so happens that that place is on my way to go pick up my trailer from the yard. So, y'all know me. I'm, 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 I'm not really a prankster per se, but I do like playing jokes on people. So, 18 wheels, right? Y'all seen his channel. The name of his truck, he's got a white Peterbilt 387, okay? And um, the play name or like the joking name that we have for the truck is Betty White, right? So when he first got the truck, he was kind of like, I'm going to name the truck Betty White, ha, 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 ha. It just kind of stuck with me. So I'm like, okay, yeah, we're going to name the truck Betty White. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I found this, a window decal of Betty White. So if y'all saw our YouTube live the other day, you would know that I was, uh, I showed it to him and everything. We had a good laugh and blah, blah, blah. But, um, I know where he's gonna be today. So I'm gonna sneak up on him and go try to put this sticker on his truck without him knowing. So let's go do that. Let's go grab our trailer first. By the time we grab our trailer and everything, he should be um, in the area. And if he's not, um, <coughs> excuse me, if he's not in the area, <coughs> excuse me, I can tell where he's at because um, we have an app that we keep up with each other and where we're at. That way, you know, if anything happens, we can help each other out. And it has like crash, crash collision and stuff on it. So if something happens, uh, I get notified or his wife gets notified. Uh, my wife and I are on the app. It was just a little safety thing that we do just to make sure we're all good. So uh, I'm going to look on this map and I'm going to see where he's at and that we could uh, uh, go stick this window decal on this truck. So let's go do that. And then we're going to head out to Laredo. But y'all don't tell him though, all right? Let's go stick this thing on his truck and see what happens. So, guys, before we go anywhere, y'all have to roll that intro. It's not the best intro. It's not as good as 18 Wheels intro. But y'all go roll that intro, and I will see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, so I'm here at the yard. It did not work out. Uh, our schedules are just gonna not work out. So I'm gonna take it and put it in the back of my 
pickup truck and he's gonna come uh come by and pick it up later gonna put that there all right i know guys my truck's messy what in the world is this what it is yeah okay there we go so he's gonna come to the yard later and pick up that that decal and when he installs it uh, he's gonna video it and let us know how it goes everything looks good pockets are in place I don't hear any air leaks on the trailer mud flap is fixed Replace. Everything looks good. Ah. All right. Let's roll. Get some fuel. Probably top five of my least favorite truck stops. Actually, we're gonna start doing that, guys. We're gonna start taking a rating of my least favorite truck stops around the U.S. So what's my code? Uh, So yeah, it didn't work out with 18 wheels, but I have him get some footage of him putting that Betty White sticker on his truck. So yeah guys, so I'm gonna start, we're gonna start doing some new things on the channel. So one thing we're gonna start doing, is, like I said, rating truck stops. We're gonna start rating um, shippers and receivers, brokers and all that kind of stuff. And um, I'm gonna be more transparent with you guys when it comes to weekly revenue, monthly revenue. This week actually marks my one year anniversary with Landstar. 
So I'm going to be giving you guys a, uh, I don't know what you would call it, um, like a rundown or a recap of my one year anniversary with Landstar. Um, my wife and I are in the process of becoming debt free. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys to let y'all know how we're doing it, to hopefully encourage you to do the same thing. Um, what else? Uh, my wife's having her scheduled C-section this weekend. I might let y'all in the hospital just a little bit, just a little bit, so y'all can see the, uh, the kind of the dad side of me too, the dad husband side of me, not just the trucker side. But yeah, we're gonna possibly open up our doors to you guys a little bit more. That way, uh, y'all get to know us a little bit better and how we do things. And I've spoken to a few of you guys and y'all seem to like that and respect that. So, we're gonna try to implement that into the channel. And I got uh, approached by a big company that wants to do some sponsorships with us. No, not sponsorships, but like a brand ambassadorship. So the difference between a sponsorship and a brand ambassadorship, the sponsor usually, you know, gives you money for stuff. A brand ambassadorship, um, I used to do these all the time in the music industry. A brand ambassadorship is when they, um, they try to get you to sell their product and they give you commission off that product, um, but they usually don't give you any money up front for anything. They might send you some free product for you to uh, try it out or whatever, or to promote on the channel. Um, so I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. It is a pretty well-known company that's out here in the trucking community. Uh, just about every truck driver has probably used this company at one point in time. So they have approached me and they wanna do a brand ambassadorship, but it'll be one of those things to where like you use my promo code and you get, you know, 10% off or something like that. So uh, I'm gonna reach back out to them and see if we can work out a deal or something. Uh, I only have something specific I want to work out, but uh, I'm going to share that with you guys a little bit more later today on who the company is, and I want to see what you guys think to see if we should do the brand ambassadorship and if you use this company, because if you use this company on a regular basis for their product, it will be it will be beneficial to you because you get a discount on the product, and so uh, I, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Right now I'm looking at this other International Lone Star and, oh man, this truck's gonna park in the way. I can't even see it. Oh, it's a flatbed, we might be able to see it. Okay, yeah. But yeah, there's, there's another International Lone Star up here and I'm trying to think of what I think about it. If I like it, if it's a nice truck or if it's a little tacky, but uh, let me know what y'all think. I don't know, what do y'all think? Is that tacky? It's got the, the drop visor on the top, which I do want that. It's got the deer guard on the front. I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. But yeah, we just filled up. We're about to hit the road. Get on down here to Laredo. As of right now, I do not have a load coming out of Laredo uh, as of right now. I'm still looking on the low board to see if I can find something, but I have not found anything yet. So, uh, I'm gonna keep looking. Meanwhile, we're gonna start making our way out there because I'm just dropping this off. It'll be a dropping hook, so. Well, there are loads, but they're going to Washington and going to California, both of which I don't have time for because I need to be back here uh, by Friday to get ready for my uh, paternity leave. So I need something kind of close by. So 
I'm reaching out to uh, a few dispatch, a few uh, agents and brokers to see what I can find coming out. But right now, we're about to hit it hard. I put about 250 bucks into the tank. And it got us right between a half a tank and a quarter tank. So that should get us down there to George, West Texas. And then we'll fill up again. Uh, meanwhile, let's hit the road and work our way over down to Laredo. If you guys can see that heck of a rig in front of us but that is my dream right there the kind of heavy haul that is the dream right there one of these days maybe one of these days We have made it down here to Laredo, Texas, to the Landstar Terminal. And surprisingly, they have, let me see, can I fit in there? Let's see. Let's see if I can finesse this, guys. Let's see what I can do. Up a 
little bit. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can fit in here. Don't be close. Is that all right let's unhook and I will update you guys on what we're doing next all right guys so this is not the best plan in the world some of you guys are not gonna like this plan some are gonna, gonna kind of be you know kind of whatever about it some of y'all are gonna say it is what it is. Some of y'all gonna judge me. But here's what we're gonna do. I was not able to find a load coming out of Laredo. When I booked these loads uh, for this specific, this specific lane, this specific uh, agent, these loads go across the border to Mexico. So when I drop this trailer off right here, it's going across to Mexico here in a few days. So, there's only specific agents I can book this load through to find a load coming out that are going to have preloaded trailers. Understandable? I can't book a live load coming out because the trailer's going over to Mexico. So, the guy I booked this load with, I have to reach out to his associates, to other agents in his network, to find loads coming out. Fair enough? Well... There's been a, a few issues with this. Um, I usually, if I know I'm coming down here, I look in advance to find a load coming out. But that wasn't the case because these loads have been kind of inconsistent to where I can book it and I not end up getting the load. So, I need to get my placard covers. So, when I booked the load, it was kind of a last minute thing. Last minute, not last minute. I knew in advance I booked the load, but I didn't know until, if y'all watched my last video, until about 15 minutes before I picked this load up that I, was, that I got the load. And so it would have been last minute, and then on a Friday, I could not find a load coming out. So, we're stuck down in here in Laredo with no load. So, with that being said, I could not find anything. There's plenty of loads, but not what we needed for, you know, coming out. There were a few going to Washington and going to California, but I can't book those. I need to get home this weekend for my wife's C-section. So with there being no load coming out of Laredo and my network, it was either sit down here until tomorrow and hopefully find a load, which if you guys have been rocking with me for the past couple of months, you would know that I did that about a month or two ago. And I ended up stuck down here for like a day and a half with no load. And it was just a whole big problem. Uh, so, What's gonna happen is Landstar has a thing called the SOS load board. The SOS load board are loads of drivers that are broken down. Um, in this particular case, a driver was under this load, he got sick, so he cannot complete the load. And uh, so I knew if I couldn't find a trailer coming out of here, Go on the SOS low board and find somebody who's gotten sick, find somebody who's broken down, find somebody who quit mid load. Like basically it's an abandoned load or a recovery load. So I went on the low board, 
did SOS, which is what they call them. And I found a load coming out of Houston. So the driver got sick in the Houston, Texas. And um, the load goes up to Kansas for about 1700 bucks. And when you do a recovery load for somebody on a company trip on, if it's a company trailer, you get to keep that trailer. So the plan is I'm dropping this trailer off here in Laredo and I'm going to bobtail 285 miles back to Houston, back home. Uh, so the guys broke down in North Houston at the, a pilot right there, right there off of 45 in Rankin. And so I'm going to deadhead back to Houston to go grab his trailer, hopefully get there tonight and then drive all day Tuesday up to Kansas. So why would I deadhead 250 miles back to Houston? Well, because it's low paid like 2175 bringing it out here to Laredo, which is 767 a mile. So I brought the load out here for 767 a mile and I'm gonna go um, back to Houston empty. So basically you take 767 divided by two and that'll let you know what my rate per mile is, which comes out to about 383 a mile. So, which is still good. 383 a mile is still really good, especially in today's market. So even with me dropping a load out here and dead heading all the way back to Houston, I still did 383 a mile. So, if I would just came out here one way and found a load out of Laredo, the load coming out here would have been 767 a mile. So, and then plus the load, I think it pays like, two, like I think it's like 250 a mile from from the Houston to Kansas, and it's only 14,000 pounds. So we're not gonna burn that much fuel. So that said, let's get on out of here. Go grab that load. We might go home tonight. I don't know. Depends on how many hours I have left. And we're gonna shoot on up to Kansas. Not the best, the best thing to do. But uh, whenever you get to a company learn that company learn all the opportunities learn all your options um and, uh, because sometimes things like this happen to where if i didn't know about this sos stuff i would be sitting down here in laredo with no load just waiting on you know something to come out but because i knew the sos we have options there was another one out there in abilene texas uh, right there in Ty, texas which is where 18 wheels goes all the time on his dedicated run uh but that one was going up to Louisville, Kentucky, and it would be cutting it real close for this weekend. So it paid about 2,400 bucks, about the same amount of deadhead, but uh, we're gonna do this. It makes sure that I get home this weekend for uh, the arrival of our upcoming bundle of joy. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and um, get on out of here and head on back down to Houston. Drop, 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 drop. There we go. Ooh. Man, guys, that, woo, that is a rig right there. I'm telling you, if I wasn't hauling dry, man, all you heavy haulers out there, let me know. Because that is what I want to do right there. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? All right, guys. Uh, I'll talk to y'all in a minute. My mind is a minefield. Watch your step. That's not a threat.
up on the inspection station. Cars use left lane, okay. This is where they just ask if you're a US citizen or not. Are you a US citizen? Are you by yourself? What's going on? What you got? Y'all look over there to the right, you can see where the, the seized trucks are. Gonna carry something illegal across the border. Alright, what lane do I need to be in? Sometimes have the canines out here sniffing.
Yep, we swapped. We're on our way home. And I need to have a little chit chat with you guys. I told you guys earlier in the video I was gonna give y'all more information on um, possible brand ambassadorship. So while we're caught by this train, of course, let's have a little talk. So this is the dilemma. So there's a company out there that makes all kinds of truck accessories and uh, they don't make parts, but they make a lot of accessories and things that we need on a daily basis. The name of that company is MyT, M-Y-T-E-E. -E. They make straps, uh, I think headache racks, all kinds of stuff. I know a lot of flatbed uh, truck drivers use them. Uh, the straps that I use on my trailer that I use to secure my loads down on the hazmat loads, um, they're usually MyT uh, straps. So they have approached me and they want to do a, what's called a brand ambassadorship. A brand ambassadorship is they want to give my subscribers uh, a discount on product that they own if they use my uh, my promo code. And that uh, discount would be, I think it's $10 off a $250 purchase. And so sometime this week, I'm going to reach back out to them with a final answer. But I want to know what you guys think. Would that be something that you all would find helpful in your day-to-day -day, uh, trucking life for those of you who drive uh, trucks, you truck drivers out there. Um, so brand ambassadorship is they want me to uh, advertise the product on the channel. And if you guys purchase using my, like I said, my promo code, um, it will be a $10 off a $250 purchase. So let me know down there in the comments what you guys think. I think this train is about stopping, guys. We're right here next to home, too. Right here next to home. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. Um, I do have a few other things that I'm working on behind the scenes concerning just a few other stuff, a few other things. Um, but that's the one right there in my face right now. So, uh, like I said, things that we do on this channel will be, of course, beneficial to the channel but it will also be beneficial to you guys too. Um, but even let me know, do y'all use my tea? Is that a product that you guys use or have ever used in the past or plan on using in the future? Train's almost over, so y'all let me know. I'm about to get back on this road. In the meantime, this is Lone Star Texas Ranger signing off. And I will catch y'all at noon tomorrow, Central Standard Time. What did we decide that the name of your truck is going to be? Well, it won't be Betty White, man. Uh, huh? It wasn't going to be Betty White. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm.